welcome to episode 152 of Level Grinding. And yes, I am wearing a scarf and a hat because it is snowing today and yesterday it was 70 degrees outside. I am back. It is a cold day. Gosh, cold and rainy. I haven't had a cold rainy day like this in a really, really long time. So now that I am back, I'm gonna get into getting breakfast, gonna get cleaned up, and then I'm gonna get started with my day. Today I need to finish the script for Denver Rescue Mission, and I don't know if you can see me. Script. <laughs> Yeah, I need to finish the script for Denver Rescue Mission. I need to get started on my 12-week year, show you guys what that all looks like. I've got some editing to do for Creative Warnings. I've got some website stuff that I need to look at for a couple of my clients. Yeah, I was hoping today is going to be kind of a slow day, and, and honestly, it is going to be, especially in comparison to yesterday or what tomorrow and the day after are going to look like. Um, but it's probably not going to feel as slow as I wish it would be. I have not even, I'm looking for a watch, I don't even have it on me, I've not even stopped for breakfast yet, and that's because I had some word back on the script that I sent to Denver Rescue Commission late last night with some of our revised changes, um, and the reason why I'm working on this right now is because I need the CEO to see this as soon as possible this morning, and so right now it's just a few minutes before nine, I should be able to make these final adjustments and then get him off a copy of this really quickly, and so this will be the first thing done this morning, and I don't have to like wait until 10 or 11 to get it done, like it can just be finished, it can be done, and then I can worry about getting lunch at uh, lunch. Wow, I can worry about getting breakfast and not have to worry about this waiting in my inbox. Yay! Happy dance! The script has been approved! Yes and yes and yes. So, uh, yeah, that happened while I was eating breakfast, so I'm really excited about that. Now I can go ahead and take the script and transform it into something that's actually going to be used for narration. That's really just a matter of like changing some formatting and making sure that a couple of like the things that should be on the screen are not in the script so they don't get read. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna be working on that because the other thing that that is going to enable me to do is to create my storyboard so that I know what things I need to get and what photography I need to get for the next part of this stage that's going to be starting Hopefully my target deadline is to have all the photography and all the, like the slide design itself, like the layouts and like what is it supposed to look like, done by May 4th so that I can actually start assembling them and putting them all together so that we have time to review all this stuff. Ah, I'm telling you people, this is a very fast, massive project turnaround. Seven weeks for four videos, this is insane. Well, five if you count the overview, but the overview, it looks like the overview is not gonna be nearly that long, so I'm really excited about that. Um, yeah, moving forward. So now, I need to uh, <laughs> I need to go actually get ready for the day, because that hasn't happened yet, and uh, yeah. Working on Friday's video. And yes, I sometimes listen to myself talk really, really fast. All right, video one is done. I'm gonna set up video two, and I thought I might try and show you a little bit of what this looks like while I'm trying to set this project up. Just because it's small, it's gonna be quick, and yeah, I thought I'd give you a look at what I do for a living. All right, so I know you can't see quite everything, but this is my Premiere Pro. So uh, up here is where I'm gonna put all of the stuff that I need to work with. Over here is where I'm gonna be able to see it and actually start taking stuff away from it and actually work like taking pieces in and out. And then over here is where I'm gonna like act like a giant television so I can see what I'm actually doing down here. So the first thing is to actually go in and import all the stuff that I need. So I need this folder because this has everything in it from yesterday footage wise and that's going to show up right here Ta -da! and now I'm going to go and import all of the other stuff so I've got a folder of audio this is where all of my music and my sound effects are I'm now going to import my graphics this is where my opening and closing transitions are and it's got a couple of the things that I always have to close out and so now I actually need to go create a sequence which is how I'm going to do this this is going to be called 151 because it is episode 151. And now I get the fun job of actually starting to find this stuff. Hooray! And for some dumb reason, my, for some reason, like the first video does not show up in the first part of my thing, but that's okay. I'm actually gonna do a different thing. This is a piece that I shot today. Um, and this is going to be um, the front part of this video because it's my apology to you guys for getting this out so late. So. <clears throat> First bits. Hi everybody. Can I help you 
The first thing I do is I set an endpoint. This tells the computer I want you to take the video from here, all the stuff that's prior to this endpoint. Like, it's only going to take the gray stuff, so the stuff that's in the back is not going to be there. And so I'm going to play through this. I'm going to play it really quick because I don't need to listen to this. Oh, except I do need to say, I don't want, there we go. So I actually had two takes in here, and I forgot that, so you can, here it goes. See, that's what I tell you guys, I don't want to say that. So I start over. Yes, I have flubs. And so now I want to get to the end of this. La 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 la. Hurry up. You're talking too much, Rachel. That's the end. So now I'm going to drag this down into here, into my sequence, and my computer's going to ask me, ah, your footage is different than what you're telling the sequence to make it. Do you want to change it? And I always say, yes, I do. So next thing is to go ahead and add in my graphics, logos and bumpers, opening tranny, tranny short for transition. This is my own little thing. And now let's actually add. So when I click on something in this window over here, the project pane, it throws it in over here so I can actually look at it in detail. And then I'm able to take elements and put them down into the timeline, which is right here. And then I can preview them over here. So if I start playing what's in my timeline, it shows up over here. I think of this as a giant television. So I'm going to pause that. I'm going to get back to this. Let's get over to here. Oh gosh, I look so tired. Yes, and it's so busy you didn't actually say anything. Let's go get some more of this. This is me walking my dog and getting ready to set up a video. Why am I doing this? Nice, beautiful, wonderful. So I am back after. Can I guide my host? Yeah. All right. So I'm back after. All right. Same thing. La da 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 da. I know that I want this whole take, so I'm just scrubbing right through it. I got to get back to my apartment, and then I need to get in the car with Amy. Ta da! Oh, walking the dog. Let's throw that in there. Hoping to get some video footage of Amy and I kicking around. Look at my hair! That did not that did not happen. That's okay. Um so All right, I'm let's scrub through this quick. Now yes, believe it or not, I actually can understand myself. And now I can't hear anything, but that's okay. I know that I want most of this take, so I don't need to listen to all the pieces. I don't ever really cut my longer takes apart when I'm talking. Um just because it's easier. Ta-da! And you guys haven't complained yet about me being long-winded, so... I know it doesn't look it right now, but this was the scene of hustling activity earlier. And an out point. Let's go get another piece of footage. Oh my gosh, I look so tired. So Andrea just left. We spent really the last two hours working on accommodating and working on everybody's revisions for the script and resolution. ta da 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 Same thing. Let's get this all the way down to the end. Uh, that will actually move the rest of this week forward. Which didn't happen. Oh yeah, I make faces. Would you guys believe it's almost five? No, you, um, you probably believe that it's <laughs> almost this, five. Look at this, look at this. Radar is upstaging me. I did not even notice this. Alright, this is a wicked the... long take. But a lot of good stuff happened today. And I know think... I got everything I wanted in this. For episode 152. 52. I hope you guys have fun with all my faces, because seriously, people. What, is that the right one that I just dropped in there? Two, four, three. Wait, well. Yeah, it is. Okay. And now let's throw my closing bumper in. And then I'm going to hit... Uh, whoops. Hold on a minute. I'm not done yet. I now want to set an in and out point for my timeline, because it helps my computer render better. 
And now I can do sequence out. I'm gonna have this match the source, but I want it to be medium bitrate. This is me basically telling my computer what do I want this thing to actually export as. I'm gonna hit Q. It's going to export the data. It's going to pop this lovely little thingy up. Ta-da! And now I'm going to hit, well, once it, once it lets me. There we go. So now this is the video. This is where it's going. These are the settings and bam. Ta-da! You guys just watched me edit one episode of Level Grind in the Daily Hustle. Hooray! Now that I have all of that done, I'm going to grab some lunch because it is lunchtime now, and then I'm going to get started on compiling my narration script for my CEO so that I can get that done, mostly because he needs it done and I need it done because it's going to dictate what I'm going to be shooting next week in terms of photography, videography. And so, um, yeah, I need to get that done just because that's going to dictate a lot of that stuff. And so being able to have both of those chunks done is a really big thing. Um, and then, while I'm at lunch, I'm going to show you guys my 12-week year. Here's my lovely lunch. My video is busy uploading. You really cannot tell that that white thing up there is actually... Yeah, there it is, the back end of YouTube. And so now I'm going to show you what my 12-week year looks like and the things that I decided that I'm going to do in this new 12-week year. So here it is. I'm using my spreadsheet that I developed. Um, you guys can see it. I'll put it in a link below if you've not yet seen it. You also can check out how it's used in my video about how I use the 12 week year. Um, it's linked somewhere around here, either on this video screen or in the description box below. I apologize, guys. I never can remember where this actually shows up when I'm shooting, so I can't like, like cool point to it. Anyway, this is what my year looks like. These are my three goals. Um, I want to be healthy, physically active, and be around 120 pounds. Um, this number of 120 still, <laughs> still has not been reached yet, but honestly, it's the being healthy and physically active that is the biggest component of this goal. Losing weight is a nice, happy byproduct, but it is not necessarily the end goal. And, and right now, for those of you who, who know about my little alien, this number is kind of impossible at the moment. So that is goal number one. And then my second goal is to tell and share ex extraordinary ideas or stories through video. This goes in line with the work that I did a couple weeks ago about my company vision and about what I want to build my company into. And so this is me trying to put some legs onto that idea. What does this actually mean? Yes, there's business building that needs to happen, such as newsletters, such as Facebook posts, emailing people. Um, those are all important stuff, but those are work tasks. They're not necessarily the actual goal themselves. And so I'm going to make this the goal and we'll see how well how well that actually impacts my business. And then this one, <laughs> skate every damn day, excuse the language. Um, the language is taken from um, a hashtag that I like to use on my skate videos. Um, but I really wanna do more on my roller skates. They are a major part of how I like to play. And they could go up into the be healthy, physically active category, but I really want them to be their own particular thing. So this is how I'm planning on setting out and doing these things. Um, I want to do all of these tactics in my regular be healthy, physically active uh, goal. And you've seen a lot of these. These look very similar to, to the past years. And I find that when I follow these things, I am definitely more rested. I am definitely more healthy. And so I'm going to be following these. I've got a couple of different lag indicators. Um, weight loss and, and ending. That's always just good to track. When am I actually waking up during the day? And my medicine intake. This one's becoming a really big thing that I need to start tracking. I have reminders that go off on my phone, but they're not quite enough yet. So this is something that's going on. Um, then in goal two, um, this is how I'm breaking this down. I had a really hard time trying to figure out like how is it going to do this, but I've decided that I want to make lists of people, things, inventions that I find interesting. I'm going to jot them down. I'm going to try and collect those thoughts daily, at least one or two things. And then I'm going to pick one uh, up from that list to start focusing on it, researching it during the week, see if this is an idea that actually has some, you know, stuff going on with it. And then from there, I want to make a video about that topic. And the idea is to get one done every month. So so hopefully you, by this time uh, next month, the end of May, you will see something. Ah, this is going to be fun to try and pull off at the same time as my current project, but you've got to make personal work. So, and my lag indicator is um, seeing when my video is finished and when their update up. Bleh, when their upload dates are. So ideally by the end of this year, there should be three of them with three dates. And then for skate every damn day, I said day, week, wait, weekend, like was this my goal? And I decided it's gonna be every day. Um, and my tactic is extremely simple. Put on skates, roll somewhere, even if it's just jamming in the house. Um, and the lag indicator I actually put into my weekly plan template. Let's go over here. 
And you can see how I populated this with everything that needs to be done. This is my template from here. I'll just duplicate it and make my actual thing. But um, make a quickie video for IG. Basically, kind of track every day. Did I do something? And my lag indicator will be how many of those videos do I have online? Kind of like just tracking, hey, did I actually put on skates today? Am I actually doing this? And even if it ends up on Instagram or not, I still want to have that video somewhere around as my proof. So the only other thing to do now is to just print this out, print out my actual weekly template for this week and start scoring it like I normally do. I haven't done that yet. I was supposed to get to it yesterday. Yesterday happened, which you guys didn't really see a whole lot of, but again, I apologize. Um, I hope that today is actually making up for that fact that it was a really short episode and you really didn't see a whole lot. Um, but this kind of goes back to some of the thoughts that I shared in my morning walk talk today on Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram and you're not getting those things, you really should. Instagram.com slash Rachel And every day I share a little thought about what I'm thinking about and how things can be in your life. And so today I was talking about how you gotta know where you wanna go before you can actually go anywhere. And a lot of people treat life as if it's a, yeah, you know, I'm just going wherever it takes me. But at some point you're gonna end up wherever it took you and you're gonna look at it and you're gonna go, how in the world did I end up here? Um, and the reality is that life is a bit like a road trip. You can just start driving and you can go wherever the road takes you, but you still might end up somewhere where you weren't sure that's where you wanted to end up. Um, and rather instead, it's better on a road trip to actually pick a destination and pick a route of as to how you're going to get there. And I really see the thing that you want out of life, you being happy, you being successful is largely determined by that thing that you want. And so when you decide what you want, you're actually gonna go after it and go get it. And so for me, my 12 week year is a large part of how I go after what I want. And for me, that is being healthy, that is being active, that is being a storyteller. And all of this is about being a storyteller ultimately. And it's especially captured in the, the goal that I have for my business about telling extraordinary ideas and stories. And so for you, you know, if you don't yet have that kind of written out, you don't have a direction figured out, I really highly suggest picking a goal. Um, it's really easy in the world today to see how many options there are out there. Like there's people doing amazing things everywhere and it can feel really limiting to pick just one thing. But the reality is when you pick a direction, you actually focus your life down and you have a whole lot better time because when you're living in that, well, I think I want to do this. Well, I think I want to do that. Well, I could try this. Well, I could try that. Um, you don't ever actually put feet to the ground and actually start going in that direction. And so you kind of never go anywhere waiting for the perfect opportunity to plop in front of you. And if there's one thing I've learned about opportunity, perfect opportunities do not plop in front of you. Matter of fact, when opportunities first come to you, they look pretty boring and they look pretty uninteresting. And it's not until you start actually picking direction and going somewhere that the opportunities actually start getting more and more amazing. And trust me, based on all the opportunities that I've had recently, I can tell you none of these opportunities would have come to me if I didn't pick a direction years ago and say, this is what I'm gonna go after. So with that in mind, this is what I'm gonna be doing right now. My closest thing that I need to do right now to get working on my goals is to eat the lunch that's sitting over here. So I'm going to eat lunch and then I'm going to get into working on the script and getting everything formatted so that I can send that back off to my CEO who's gonna be doing the narrator so that we both can be on the same page for tomorrow. Oh, guys, guys, this project, oh my gosh, it is moving so fast. <sighs> yes, hold on to your seats, people. Oh, it's always longer to do this stuff than you think, but I have this ready to go. This is what this looks like. Um, one of the things about when you want to make something for somebody to be able to read easy is that you want to use what's called a monospace font. That means that each letter takes up the exact same amount of space on the page. So like a C is the same width apart as an I or as a T. This makes it a little bit easier to read. You also want to make sure that it is at least 1.5 spaced or double spaced. Again, that's so that people can easily scan each line and then quickly uh, read everything out loud. Yeah, so there's a couple of other things that you can do when you're doing a script, but right now I think this will be fine. You can see this is my test page just to make sure that everything is good. And otherwise, my script is good and ready to go off to Denver-esque mission. I just sent it off. And the interesting thing about this is that it is currently sitting at... Whee! Yeah, 32 pages long. This is going to be fun! 
Honestly, I'm not expecting to get all of this recorded tomorrow. Definitely not. That is why I have two recording sessions back to back, one tomorrow and then one on Thursday. And we're gonna get as much of this knocked out as we possibly can. If we get to everything, fantastic. And if not, I'm trying to hold a couple of days in reserve in the very beginning of May to get this finished with Brad. Um, so the 32 pages feels long. It's because it's double spaced and is set in 12 point font. Um, but you know, the reality is this is kind of normal. This is what this is. So um, yeah, we'll just see how well Brad's voice actually lasts tomorrow because he's the one that's got to do all the talking for however long this is going to take. Sorry, Brad. All right, well, that's printing. I'm going to go take a dog outside. There they are, side-by-side -side scripts. So one is for me and the other one will be for Brad. That way both of us can be literally on the same page. And it's time to actually score today. Good grief, I haven't done this in so long, it feels really weird. Um, I know I did this, did this, did not do it yesterday. Uh. So my main task for today, getting the script finalized for Denver Rescue Mission has been complete. I am so thankful to have this done. It is a major strain off my to-do list. So I'm now going to sit on the couch and I'm going to <laughs> get to some other emails that have been stacking up. Good grief. Um, I have some people emailing me about helping with the Creative Warnings videography team, which is great because it means I can get back to them and try and figure out who's going to be helping me in May. I also have some other things to take care of for some of my other clients. So I need to do this. So I'm going to focus on this until Robo gets home. He should be getting home here in maybe another half an hour or so. Um, so I'm going to call this the end of my work day. Good grief. It feels really good to be where I'm at today. Um, I was really starting to get worried with my scripts, especially over the weekend, wondering if they were actually going to be ready on time. And so I was making contingency plans, like when do I actually need to call the audio company to be able to say, hey, I need to move the day. Like, Oh yeah, just trying to be on top of things, but the reality is that I didn't have to use any of it, so we're good to go. So tomorrow is going to be episode 153, and you're going to be seeing the inside of a recording studio and hanging out with me while I'm doing that. I hope, I hope I remember to take video, that's on the to-do list. And if, if the weather's nice, I'm planning on roller skating there, because it's just a couple blocks uh, west of my house, so I'm really looking forward to being able to do that. If the weather holds, right now it's rainy and gray and 30 degrees outside, so we'll see what happens. But this is this is Tuesday. This is Tuesday, guys. I hope you enjoy the look at today. If you have questions or comments, leave them in the comments below. Again, I'm going to have a whole bunch of stuff in the description box. So make sure to check that out. If this is your first time hanging out, welcome to the craziness. This is what my life looks like. And remember, the reason why I make all this stuff, the reason why I'm documenting this is so that you guys can see what it looks like when you're building a business by yourself, when it's in that crummy stage of working on your couch, working in your garage, working in your living room, and you have the these big dreams of where you want things to go, but you got to start small. And so I'm documenting all of this both for you to be able to see what's going on, but also for me to be able to look back and go, oh, wow, I remember that day. Um, and really, I feel really strongly about documenting this because so many people do and talk about this stuff when they're 10 years down the road, 15 years down the road after they've already made their success. And I'm in the process of making mine. So the fact that you guys stuck it out and hung out with me all day today, I really appreciate it. So I will see you all tomorrow. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Ciao.